Hi, George here, and I wanted to introduce you to the Adobe Color Wheel. This is a free online application and very useful if you're trying to find a series of colors that work well together. Obviously more useful for graphics, a little less so for photography, but still a really nice, really interesting tool. And before I get into this, I just wanted to mention if you have my Photo Coach for Photoshop Elements program, I've added a new training in here for what's new in Photoshop Elements 2026. Just come down here to the search bar and type in 2026 and hit search. And I have seven articles over in here. This is all the new stuff. Now, along with just these articles, I also have added in video. Let's go ahead and click on this one right here. And as always, I have a whole how-to section in here. Some of these are gonna be step-by-step. -step. Some of them won't need step-by-step. -step, so it'll just be a paragraph. So this part is what you would normally expect inside of the photo coach but I've also added in video in these as well. This is a video from the new Photoshop Elements 2026 training course. And I think that makes this even more useful as a powerful learning tool. Now I'll be going in and adding in video into all of the articles over the next few months. I have over 350 articles at this point. So it's a lot of work to go back in and put in video for all of those, but I'll be doing that. And because of that, I will be raising the price on this starting in January. So if you want to get this at the current price, then you should jump on that fast. Make sure you don't miss out on this lower price. And this would be an even more valuable tool as soon as I finish putting in all of that new video content. But it's here now for all the new articles about how to use the new features in 2026. And I'll put a link for this, of course, at the top of the description in case you don't have this program yet. Okay, let's go back over here to the color wheel. And this is a very useful tool if you want to find a series of colors to use in your project. And the way it works is very simple. There's this one dot right here, it has a little triangle on that. That's the main color, everything else is based on that color. If I pull that around with my mouse, notice how all the rest of the colors follow around. And that should give you a series of colors down here that will work well together. Now there are different ways of creating working color sets. And you'll find that over here, left-hand services color harmony. But first, make sure that the color mode is set at RGB. That's the correct one for working with Photoshop elements. Now this whole program here is free. Create, Explore, Trends, and Lab. All this also you can access without being logged into your Adobe account. If you want to be able to use the libraries, you want to be able to save your color swatch sets, then you'll have to be logged into your account. But again, the Adobe account is free. If you have Photoshop Elements, you already have an Adobe account. So I'm logged in right now. Okay, left-hand side, let's look at our color harmonies over here. And notice we have analogous. That means that these are all similar colors. Monochromatic, basically shades of the first color, just adding in more black as we go down the line. Triad gives you a triangle. And again, these will give you colors that will work well together. Complementary is straight across. Split complementary, straight across, but with a split on that. Square, as you can guess, is gonna be a square shape. Compound. Shades is just gonna be adding in black into your colors, just slightly shading them. And you can create custom color sets as well. So back here to analogous. Now you can change your main color here just by dragging this around like that and finding a new color position. Very easy to do. Or you can pick a color right off your color wheel. Let's grab that eyedropper tool here and then choose a color right off the color wheel. Or you can go ahead and choose white or black if you want to. And so I can even grab anything off of the browser window here, like that color up there. And that's my new color right over here. Now it doesn't attach to anything else. This automatically becomes a custom color when you do that. And it's free from everything else. If you wanna have the color harmony in here, just go back over here to color harmony, click on analogous, and it lines things back up again, just like that. Very easy to use. Now down below, we have some tools in here. We have a change color. This gives you slider controls to adjust your color. A change tint will give you a series of tints of the color up here. And you also can remove the swatch if you don't want it, which will then give you a limited set of swatches. There's also a plus button here and here. You can add new swatches in here and can do that for every single one of these settings. So let's have these swatches come in opposite of your regular swatches and then becomes a custom color harmony again. To get rid of a swatch, just hit that trash can and you can delete swatches. So very easy to use to create these color sets. If you want to save your color set, just click on the save button. If you're logged in, you'll see the sign in button up here right hand corner. I'm signed in at the moment. If you want to save this for use in Photoshop Elements, there are two ways to do that. One is up here. Here, as you can see, is our color set right there. So download this as a JPEG image. You can then use that to bring that color set into your swatches. 
or you can come down here and actually copy the hexadecimal code. Let me show you how both of those work. Let's first start with saving the hexadecimal code. Just roll over that, click on copy. And let's go over to Photoshop Elements. Right here, you can then paste that color in. So I bring up our swatch set, and that's window. I'll come down to color swatches right here. And then click on the color picker down here. And notice that the hexadecimal color is selected. I'm just going to right click and paste. And that pastes in that new number that we just saved out. If you want to save this over here into your set, that's easy to do. Close that window, come over here to the color swatch set and click any place down here. And it's going to bring in that color. You can then give that a name, choose okay. And it adds that color into your swatch set. So very easy to bring in your colors one at a time like that. Let's now bring in all the colors in the one set. So we're back over here, let's choose the download. You can download this any place you want to on your hard drive. I'll just put it into my projects folder. Choose save, there we go. Let's now go back over to Photoshop Elements and let's open that up. That's file open. Navigate to your folder where you save that and it's right here. Choose open. And then here is that color swatch set. Now to bring a color in here, all we have to do is to select our color over here. So grab the eyedropper tool, click on a color that makes that color active and then go over here and click in there and that adds that in. So you can just do that for each of these colors and you can very quickly add these colors into your color swatch set. If you want to save your color swatch set, go up here, click on this little button right down here and save swatches or save swatches for exchange. This is useful if you plan to be sharing this with somebody else. Click on save swatches. So save this into the standard color swatches location as an ACO file. Let's call this color wheel color swatches, choose save, and this is now saved. So if you close down Photoshop Elements and then you come back later and you're back to your default set, you can easily bring back your new set by going up here, click on this little icon, and come down here to replace swatches. Find your saved swatch set like that, choose load, and you're back to your saved swatch set. Okay, let's go ahead and go back over to the color wheel. Here we go, some more great interesting tools in here. We can extract a theme Simply drag and drop a file in here and extract colors from that file. Let me demonstrate that one. You can either drag and drop right here or select a file. I'll just do a drag and drop. I'll bring up a folder with some pictures in it. Here's the same projects file. Let's say I wanted to get the colors out of this little bit of text over here. It has a bit of a gradient in that. I'll choose this one. Just drag and drop like that. As you can see here, it grabs different colors from this image. You can grab these and actually move them around a little bit if you want to fine tune what the color is. It's pretty easy to do. Let's say I wanted to have a black in here for the outline. I'll go ahead and I'll grab that one. And I now have a color swatch set based upon this text image that I did. And then to save this, just choose save. And it saves it into your library. Just replace the image up here. It says replace image. And this time I'll grab a photograph. Let's just grab this one right here. Choose open. Same thing, it goes through and finds color areas in the color that kind of represent the colors in the image. And once again, you can take a color and move it around to find a different color if you're not really happy with the selection. You can go through here and find something else. You can refine each one of these positions. Let's look at our bright option right here. Here's a muted option. Here's the deep option. Here's the dark option. And here's none, which is going to be not looking for any specific set. Colorful is usually your best option on these though. And again, just save this out as a saved set instead of your library. So really interesting tool, allowing you to quickly come in and grab out color sets. Now, of course, you can do this with just the eyedropper tool over in Photoshop Elements, but it's a little bit easier here to do this. You have some better tools to help you select exactly what you want. You also can take out gradients as well. So here is grabbing a gradient in here from this image. It's grabbing dark and light options. I can come in here and choose something different. And notice as I move this around, the gradient changes down below, which once again gives me great control. Say I wanted to have kind of my foliage colors in here. I'll choose that one. Let's find something darker up here. There we go. So that's just foliage colors for my gradient. And it also comes down as a swatch set down here. And you can save the gradient out again up here into your library and choose save. And you can then open that up with the gradients inside of Photoshop Elements. We also have some accessibility tools in here. This just helps you to find color combinations that are easy to read for people who have different levels of color impairment. You're looking for a high contrast in here. So here's two colors that it's selected. I can adjust the text color in here and see what the contrast ratio is on that selected color. Obviously the lighter it is, the harder it's going to be to read that. So 
So it allows you to come in and fine tune your colors in here to get a more contrasty look. If I wanted to have some blue in there, I could try to find where I have a spot where it's still contrasty enough to read, but I still have some blue. So if I'm a little bit on the light side here, I may want to come lighter over here on the background so that my color becomes legible again. So very interesting tool. We have two options up here, contrast checker or colorblind safe. And you can try to work with colors in here to make sure your colors are all colorblind safe. So again, very useful tool for accessibility purposes. Now across the top, we have some more areas to work with up here. We have our explore section. Bring this up and this gives you a bunch of popular color sets. With any one of these, you can download this as a JPEG or you can add this to your library right over here if you find a color set that you like. Popular search buttons up here or even type in your own search if you want to and to see what has been added in here. So it's a way of getting some color inspiration. Trends is similar. This shows you current popular trends in colorization. Right now we're kind of in a muted mode on a lot of our trends in here, a lot of the colors. Graphic design, here's illustration, user interfaces, architecture, game design, some wilderness colorations, flavor colorations, and travel. And these are based upon different styles that are current right now. So you can try to find a nice, very trendy color collection or color set. Lab over here, this is brand new. You can bring in vector color artwork. Of course, we don't work with vector in Photoshop Elements, but if you have vector color artwork, you can bring that in here and then recolor that instantly with choosing from different color sets. Now, since we don't use SVG files inside of Photoshop Elements, we won't bother with this demonstration. And next over here, we have libraries. And you only have access to the libraries, again, if you are logged in or signed into your account. We just saved this gradient right down here. Here's a color theme from that photograph. Here's a color theme that we saved for that typeface. With any of these, I can come in and then download that using that download button, download it as a JPEG. We've already seen how that works. So a very useful place to save any of the color sets that you're creating when you're inside working with the Adobe Color Wheel. So as you can see, very interesting tool, very useful if you need to find color sets that work well together in your project. And again, this is a free tool. It's available online, and I'll put that link for this in the description. And don't forget, if you have my photo coach for Photoshop Elements, that I now have instructions in there for the new features inside of Photoshop Elements 2026, including video on those. That's in there right now. And I'll be putting in video for everything else over the next couple of months. And by the time I get to January, there will be a price increase starting in January. So make sure you get that photo coach now before that new price increase hits. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.